The Cat in the Hat. The sun did not shine; it was too wet to play. So we sat in the house, all that cold, cold wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we two, and I said, "How I wish we had something to do." Too wet to go out, and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 and we did not like it. No one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked. Then we saw him stepping on the mat. We looked, and we saw him. A cat in the hat, and he said to us, "Why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play," said the cat. "I know some new tricks," said the cat in the hat. "A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do." Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, "No, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out." Now, now, have no fear, have no fear," said the cat. "My tricks are not bad," said the cat in the hat. Why we can have lots of good fun if you wish, with a game that I called up, up, up with the fish. Put me down," said the fish. "This is no fun at all. Put me down," said the fish. "I do not wish to fall." "Have no fear," said the cat. "I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball, with a book on one hand, and a cup on my hat." But that is not all I can do," said the cat. "Look at me, look at me now," said the cat, with a cup and a cake, on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, and a little toy ship, and some milk on the dish, and look, I can hop up and down on a ball. But that is not all. No, no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup, and the milk, and the cake. I can hold up these books, and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship, and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fin. I can fin with the fin, as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. No, no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, "Do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game," said our fish as he lived. "No, I do not like it. No one little bit." Now look what you did," said the fish to the cat. "Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sunk our toy ship, sunk it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house," said the fish in the pot. "But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot," said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go, and so said the cat in the hat. So, so, so I'll show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick," said the cat. "Take a look." Then he got up on the top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box," said the cat. "In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things," said the cat with a bow. 
and Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, "No, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out. Put them out," said the fish in the pot. "Have no fear, little fish," said the cat in the hat. "These things are good things, and we gave them a pat. They are tame." Oh, so tame! They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now, here is a game that they like," said the cat. "They like to fly kites," said the cat in the hat. "No, not in this house," said the fish in the pot. "They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump! Oh, the things they will hit! Oh, I do not like it." No one, little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall, bump, thump, thump, bump, down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they run up, they run down. On the string of one kite, we saw Mother's new gown. Her gown was dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump. On the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps, and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If Mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, Look, look! And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will what will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast," said the fish. "Do you hear? I saw her, your mother. Your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said. With my net, I can get them. I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, "Now you do as I say. You pack up the things, and you should take them. Take them away." Oh dear," said the cat. "You did not like our game. Oh dear." What a shame! What a shame! What a shame! That is good," said the fish. "He has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess, and this mess is so big, and so deep, and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all." Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. And then, who is back in the house? Why, the cat! Have no fear of this mess," said the cat in the hat. "I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know." Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake, and the rake, and the gown, and the milk, and the strings, and the books, and the dish, and the fun, and the cup. And the ship, and the fish, and he put them away. Then he said, "That is that," and then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in, and she said to us two, "Did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do?" And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well. What would you do if your mother asked you?